Hello HP Touchpad users, today I want to tell you about a fun little mod for JC Sullen's preview number 3. Here in the Roots Wiki forum you can check out this free and easy to install, I'm going to show you it all right now, WebOS style card switching mod. And it's just a simple little flashable zip, but it's dependent specifically on the type of ROM you're running. We're running here the 11.8 if you're on the HP Touchpad preview, but it also supports Android Open Kang project, but make sure you check the ROMs that are flashable for that one, you get the right one, and you make an Android backup, because if you flash that wrong one, you might get a boot loop. So, you got to be careful, always make an Android backup. Now what this does is makes this fun little card-like interface, just like in WebOS. Here's like new gapps 4.2 feature of being able to street view pretty fun stuff and basically you'll just go through there and you'll check out what you're doing you'll try it out and you'll be like okay i'm done with that and you give a little swipe up and it's cleared and this is one of the funnest nicest features of webos i found and you can pretty much do it with any application and preview leave it wherever you like it just hop in and out this is so it's a lot of fun to try out and it'll persist, and I can run other stuff. Switch over easily. You can see it runs very well. A lot of fun to try out. And this has uh, just been put up recently for the HP touchpad. And this will be a lot of fun for you to kind of check out and try out. Manage your tasks, swipe them up to get rid of them. Just a handy, fun interface. Big thank you to the developer. Go back to the forum here. TBob18 who made this available to us. So if you're like me running the HP touchpad, you're going to click on this link here, 11.8. And there's going to be two links that are going to pop up here. And one will be to install and one will be to uninstall. And we're going to flash these through Clockwork Mod or Twerp. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to download both of these files here. And you're going to make sure you want to have both of them in case there's any problem you want to uninstall it. So I'm going to show you how to uninstall it now. Let's check it out. You can be trying this out for yourself. So hold down the power button and reboot your device. Now you could have Clockwork Mod or Twerp running. You can flash it in either of these, no problem. I'm going to show you Clockwork Mod. It's the more difficult one. into your recovery. Now I've already downloaded the files and they're in my root directory on my SD card. So they're going to be easy to find. Now I highly recommend you make an Android backup before you do that. So we're going to go to Backup and Restore. And an Android backup is a complete system image. And here we're selected on backup right away. And as soon as we click this button, we'll be committed to it. So we've got to make sure we have a good charge in the battery. Because it'll take you know a good period of time, five minutes or so. And if there's any problem, anything we don't like, we can just go to restore here. And I make up several backups. i got one for Cyanogen Mod 9, Cyanogen Mod 10, Cyanogen Mod 7. And you can store these onto your PC for safekeeping. Okay, once you've done that, let's go on to the install. You just go down to Install Zip from SD Card. This is where we're going to start. Choose Zip from SD Card. And we're going to navigate to those two folders we had. And one will be the test for the build we have, and the other will be the removal. And each, each build of this will have also to remove it and to add it. So we're going to add it. We'll simply click the file, select it. Click the home button, go yes install, and it's a quick little install, and we'll be back in no time. As soon as you're done, you can go back and re reboot your system now. I've been having a lot of fun with this mod. Uh, he just put it up recently, so I've been testing it out for like a couple days, but I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I find it runs really well. Cyanogen Mod 10 Preview on the HP Touchpad is running very well. Thank you, JC Sons. You can check out my video how to install that. There will be links in the description if you want to try that yourself. Please read the full README over at Roots Wiki. Got to know what's going on. Got to read your forums. Go pop into the Roots Wiki forum and say big thank you to T-Bob over there for putting this out for us.
And we're almost finished the install. There we go. And now we're all installed. And if we want to uninstall it, we just go through the same procedure, but we go through the uh, removal flash and then exit the same way. And there we go. And we'll start up our applications and build up stuff in the background. And we can run it, test it out. There we go. And lots of fun, guys. Please subscribe to see the latest updates for CyanogenMod Mod 10 on the HP Touchpad and Android updates in general. Thank you for watching.